Let's discuss the result if f and g are integrable, in fact, Riemann integrable on the closed interval a, b, then so is their product. Product, you know, we define how we define it. So, f product g, this is the integrable function, we prove it. So, if, if f and g are integrable on the closed interval a, b, then so is their product f and g. A product, we define it. f product g, in fact, equals f of x into g of x. This is prove it. We assume that neither f, proof ka first step kya hai? Ke hum ye assume karte hai ke f b jo hai, wo zero function nahi hai, yani ke f of x equal zero nahi hai, ya g of x equal zero. Ye dono baate hum suppose karte hai ke ye in dono mein se koi bhi true nahi hai. Kyunke agar in dono mein se koi ek bhi true hai, then we have nothing to prove. Since the conclusion is obvious, if one of them is zero function. So we suppose that if ke ye dono identically zero nahi hai, P is any partition, is the partition of A, B, then ye jo upper sum likha hua hai, subscript mein, is theorem ke proof mein, subscript mein jo bhi F, G for example likha hua hai, is upper sum mein. So this is the upper sum corresponding to the product of the function F of X into X. Aapko pata hai ke isko evaluate kis tarah karte hai, isko evaluate karte hai, f of x into g of x se is tarah evaluate karte hain. So, let's consider the difference of the upper sum of the product of two function f and g minus lower sum of the same function, product of the function f and g. It is equals this one. Ab ye m f g comma j jo hai, it is representing ke ye jo product function hai, is ka supremum. This is m f g comma j in fact is the supremum jth interval mein whenever c from the jth interval x j minus 1 x j supremum of f of c g hai in fact similarly small m jo hai ye infimum hai so Riemann sum the difference of this upper sum minus lower sum by definition wo ye ban jata hai thik hai since f and g are non-negative, so maximum jo hai aapka product ka wo maximum or supremum of the f multiplied by supremum of the g hai. Whereas infimum ke liye ulta hota hai. Infimum of product of the function f of g is greater than infimum of f multiplied by infimum of g separately. Hence their difference jo product difference hai, wo that will be less than or equal to from these two inequalities minus se multiply karein is, ye is wali ko, is inequality ko or add karein, we will have this inequality. Ab ye cheez jo hai, capital M G comma J, M F comma J, is ko hum add bhi kar rahe hai, subtract bhi kar rahe hai, ye dekhe yaha pe subtract kiya hua hai, yaha pe add kiya hua hai, or M G comma J jo hai, wo common liya hua hai, ये राइट हैंड साइड पे सो वी रीच्ड हियर एम जी कॉमन आ जाता है एम एफ जे माइनस एम एफ जे अब ये जो है इसको हम रीमान सम में जो है वो पुट कर देंगे फ्रॉम वन एंड द लास्ट इनक्वायरिटी जो भी हमने बनाई है दिस डिफरेंस ऑफ द अपर सम माइनस लोअर सम ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द फंक्शंस एफ जी लेस देन इक्वल्स टू एस एफ एस एफ पी माइनस एस एफ ये बाय डेफिनेशन है जो इनक्वायरिटी हमने अभी डेवलप की है नाउ सपोज दैट एप्सिलॉन इज ग्रेटर देन 0 f और g जो है ये दोनों इंटीग्रेबल हैं देयर आर पार्टीशंस p1 एंड p2 ऑफ a b सच दैट f क्योंकि इंटीग्रेबल है सो वी मस्ट हैव दैट लेस देन एप्सिलॉन और एप्सिलॉन जो है वो मैंने पर्टिकुलर चूज किया है एप्सिलॉन ओवर 2mg सिमिलरली ये एप्सिलॉन में क्योंकि फॉर ऑल एप्सिलॉन होता है सो आई कैन चूज दैट अब ये दोनों डेफिनेशंस जो है यहां पे अप्लाई कर दें we will have the required results if P is a refinement, where P is a refinement of both P1 and P2. Then 3 and we can write this one. S of F, ye humne isme use karna hai. So S, F of G, upper sum, minus F G ka lower sum, that will be less than epsilon. Hence, epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2, jo ke epsilon banta hai. Hence, we have proved, we reached at the point that the 
product of the two functions where f and g are integrable then the product of the functions f g is integrable by definition jo ke bar bar hum use kar rahe hain again and again that definition let me recall you for every epsilon greater than 0 there exists a partition p such that upper sum minus lower the difference of the upper sum minus lower sum is less than epsilon by that definition the product of the two integrable function f and g is integrable 